This is All India Radio. Tonight we bring an interview with Sri M.S. Satyu, a noted film director and theatre personality. He is interviewed by Pramila Lochan. You have been associated with films since 1956 as art yeah. director, script writer, producer and various other capacities. Well, I started learning uh, in the various departments of filmmaking mm -hmm. since about... 56 In in the present day film industry mm. how popular is parallel cinema as uh, especially with the financiers Basically the parallel cinema was uh, there some time back not now uh, maybe in the 70s and the early 80s also we saw a whole lot of uh, new types of uh, films being made a lot of young people wanted to make different type of films away from the mainstream and it did uh, uh, create a certain kind of audiences but slowly uh, it died out because the the film making itself became too expensive and there was not enough funding from uh, organization there was only one organization like the film development corporation of india so that that nfdc couldn't have uh, supported so many films and then also in the uh, in the five plans that we have they cut down the uh, grant uh, or the funds to the nfdc they said that now you should generate your own funds and then support the new cinema um, i think that is one of the reasons why not many films are, are being made at the moment what about the viewership uh, how how is the response been with uh, respect See, viewer, to audience viewership is dependent on cinema itself if you are making good cinema then there will be a good amount of people coming to see it when there is hardly any good cinema be being made or or whatever you call it as parallel cinema very few are being made uh, invariably they don't get uh, a proper distribution they don't get uh, um, any kind of marketing the kind of publicity it requires and uh, so it, it uh, dies a natural death of its own you know but a little while ago you were mentioning that uh, this movement was pretty active in kerala compared to the other states yeah the kerala the awareness is much uh, greater they you know in every way even in education they have been the most forward uh, uh, state in the country and uh, there the film society movement at very small even taluka level um, it was um, generated there and a lot of people uh, got aware of the new cinema and in fact uh, the mainstream cinema uh, has been influenced by the parallel cinema okay. in kerala uh, which is a very good sign uh, that's how they could sustain uh, this kind of uh, movement for a longer period but now again you know it it has become a little stagnant and still we see no doubt some good films coming from kerala but uh, and that that is the effort of the the society movement and the the i mean you have to have a lot of orientation courses for the audiences the film appreciation courses for the audiences you know things like that uh with respect to the hindi film industry uh, what do you feel could be done to activate uh, serious good cinema well the hindi film industry is on a totally different uh, <laughs> kind of a um, binge you know sort of uh because the hindi cinema is the most expensive cinema today right uh in terms of uh, the 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 fees that the, the the stars charge or the music uh, has become so expensive and um, in that kind of a setup you see uh, crores of, crores of rupees are being invested in uh, the hindi cinema uh, so the marketing strategy is also different and uh, it needs all the inputs like uh, stars then very good music directors good singers then then you have the dance numbers choreographed by by certain choreographers you know who have made a name for themselves 
So these are uh, the inputs which are very, very necessary. And uh, there are also another uh, craze that is there in the Hindi cinema is to take people to uh, very exotic uh, locations. I mean, it might be a story which is taking place in India and suddenly you will find them in somewhere in Vienna or something like that and singing a song on the streets. Um, and that this is how uh, film is being treated. So it, it doesn't have any roots of any kind. And, and that, that, but it has in its own way become popular amongst the, the younger crowd. Um, and uh, the, the whole uh, culture is so different, you see. Right. Uh, so, so in that kind of an atmosphere, if you want to make a parallel cinema in uh, Hindi, um, it is very, very difficult, almost impossible. Uh, even if you make, it won't get distributed. It won't be sh seen except maybe on the television sometime on, on one of the channels. So the the parallel cinema people have ultimately to find a new path, uh, and that is the which we call we can call it as mid cinema, and uh, we have to have ingredients like uh, some film stars uh, working in in such a uh, film with issue-based film or um, something like a thinking cinema or whatever you want to call it and then even have some amount of music uh, there's no harm in having uh, because that's the pattern the Indian audiences are used to a certain pattern of cinema and in the world uh, Indian cinema uh, this pattern is unique you know no other uh, country makes uh, this kind of uh, films so, so I think somewhere we have to find a mid path and then uh, uh, try and attract the audiences to uh, films of this nature. So this new trend is developing. Uh, it is, or you know, it has. It has developed. You know, people like uh, Mani Ratnam have done it, and others in ba um, Balu Mahendru, Mani Ratnam, and uh, um, in, the, in the especially in the Tamil cinema, they have tried it out, and it has worked. How supportive. Uh, our bodies like NFTC and the state when it comes to uh, patronage of uh, regional films? No, the NFTC has very little money to really invest. It is um, an organization which has too many people working. So it's a too top-heavy uh, organization. It is the whole thing, it's not just financing a film. They, it has to be a movement. It, uh, you have to create theatres for that. Right. You have to create distribution system, the marketing system, the publicity system. So you have to, you know, from all sides you have to uh, attack. And then you must look for new ideas, new people to make films. And that should be, the, in, in fact, a national de you know, film development would be like that. By, by just financing a film, it I don't think any, yes. anything is being achieved. You know, maybe in the 70s they did achieve something, but not today. But a lot of filmmakers also succumb to the demands of, uh, you know, the mainstream uh, films, etc. So, uh, in terms of creating such a movement, you we cannot leave it just to the audience. No, I mean, we don't leave it to the audience. You can direct the audience uh, towards uh, better cinema. Uh, it's a possibility whatever films that we are importing, you know, that is another thing which one has to think about. What kind of film should we import? Why only Hollywood films? And why only these cop stories always? Right. Why, or why those, uh, you know, science fiction films which is untrue totally? Or disaster films which are again untrue? I think a more human uh, and uh, a more meaningful kind of stories taken up and more r realistic approach is given you know, thought provoking films have to be made and even from the west we should import that kind of cinema right and not only from the west there are many other countries which are making very good cinema take for example iran iran makes beautiful films really very good films even from china or hong kong or you know uh, like countries like that so we should try to get those kind of films to this country. And it is much closer to our way of living, you know. In 95, you directed uh, Gali Gay. Yes. After which, you, uh, you are now coming out with a new production. 
Could you tell us something more no, about it? You see, between 95 and now, I made uh, two uh, telefilms also. Okay. Uh, one for the Doodarshan I have made, in both in Kannada and in uh, Hindi. It's a one and a half hour film. And then I have made, a, again, a 90-minute uh, Kannada film. Uh, based on uh, a story by Masti Venkatesh Ayengar, Chandra Vadana. It has already been shown. Uh, uh, now I am also planning a, a new film uh, in Hindi. Right. This is going to be a regular, you know, big budget, big budget film. Uh, but no doubt it will be an issue-based uh, uh, film. It has something to say. It, it questions... Uh, mm, lot many uh, things that are bothering me. This particular story which I have taken up is Zameen Asman uh, is uh, on the on this subject where it is set against a highly scientific uh, background on one side but uh, how we are bogged down you know in, in terms of uh, social issues we are bogged down and we are still so conservative and backward. Your play Kurukshetra to Kargil, yeah. based on Kuwempu's uh, Smashana Kurukshetra, uh, spoke uh, speaks strongly of the futility of war and corruption. As a communicator of socio-political themes, do you find more freedom and satisfaction in theatre and television? In theatre, I do uh, find a lot of satisfaction because it's a one-to-one -one relationship between you and your audience. And every every time you stage the same play, you can sort of improve it, and you have a chance to rectify it. You can take in the audience's uh, reaction to uh, a play, uh, but uh, that is not possible in the electronic media or in the cinema. So you have no way of um, reconstructing your uh, ideas or something like that. So when once you're done, it is done forever. Uh, so that is the difference, and so uh, no doubt um, theatre is uh, uh, more exciting uh, that way. Thank you for being with us, and we look forward to the release of your new film. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. That was an interview with Sri M. S. Satyu, noted film director and theatre personality. He was interviewed by Pramila Lochan. This broadcast came to you from the Bangalore station of All India Radio.